What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and uh, I've gotten so many emails from people worried about ISON, um, nervous as can be. Uh, people have sent me like five, six page emails um, with just pretty much getting their fear out. I don't know if just sending me emails makes people feel better, um, but this whole comment ISON thing has totally... Um, reminded me of the fear that's been put out over the last year and a half, two years, uh, about certain, well, really for the last five to ten years, uh, talking about, um, you know, 2012, the Mayan calendar, um, Elenin, remember after that didn't hit, next it was going to be Elenin. Every single one of these Ison, Nibiru, Ison, Planet X videos could just be basically were already out, you know, Elenin videos before. And I'm just going to all of my favorite channels and I just can't believe how many people are putting out information on what they see in these pictures. And most people don't even understand how pictures are made, um, how, how the Hubble does stuff how you know a lot of this stuff that I actually had to go look into I thought I knew a lot about how it was made but I didn't want to put out information I didn't know and um, when I wasn't 100% sure unless I tell you that usually if I'm not 100% sure I'll tell you I'm not 100% sure on this but I came across this today and this is going with what I'm finding too in my research and the people I'm talking to behind the scenes uh, my friends at NASA uh, I got a couple friends over there I got a couple friends that are just amateur astrologists uh, astronomers astrologists <laughs> I actually have some astrologist friends too but uh, amateur astronomers I know a lot of people that uh, have been following this thing bringing it watching it in and uh, it's it's so easy to just go take a picture picture from the internet and put it up and, and associate fear with it. And I'd like to put a challenge out there to the people who are saying that common ISIN is going to, you know, take our power grid out. It's going to, it's on a direct course with us. It's bringing all this stuff with it. That's going to, you know, send all these asteroids into us and, and impact life as we know it. Um, and if you're 100% sure that is the case, just like with Ellen and you were 100%, um, a lot of you, and what happens, we never hold these people's feet to the fire. If you're so sure, why do I have to watch ads on your channel? How about you, let's go ahead and uh, defund your channel, turn your AdSense off, and uh, let us watch without the ads. See, I have ads on my channel, but I'm giving you nothing but news. And we've got, this is coming out of uh, Columbia. There's a Columbia scientist who says that, Comet Ison may not be the, may be disintegrating. The comet of the century may prove to be a dud. And this is out on uh, International Business Times. I'll put the link below along with the link to uh, this scientist's uh, white page. Basically, it t talks about his theories about. Here we go. Colombian astronomer Anicio Farin from the group of computational physics and astrophysics. There's a website there. Um, the FACOM said Comet Ison appears to be beginning to fall apart. Frin has also used spectacular light curves to detail the brightness of the, histor uh, the history of the comet. Comparing Ison's light curves with the eight other comets that disintegrated, Farron believes Ison will soon fizzle out. He said in a statement, the light curve of the comet ex exhibited the slowdown event characterized by a constant brightness with no indication of brightness increased tendency. All right, and this talks a little bit more about it, and uh, you can get this by clicking on here. He's got his website linked here, and he just put this up today. Today is the, uh, let's see, it's, it should be Sunday, October 6th, last time I checked, and it still is. Um, the impending demise of Comet Ison. And this is just for some of you guys who are wanting more of this uh, lighthearted. I don't think anything's going to happen with Comet Ison. Now, if you want to go into the comments section and leave a 30 page thing about what's different now, what's been going on, go ahead. I don't have any fear about it. I hope you don't have any fear about it. Even if it is up there barreling right towards us, the thing is only about, what, a mile wide or something like that, they're saying. Um, you know, by the time it would get here, I just don't see it being a threat. I'm more worried. If I had to worry about anything right now, I, I try not to live my life in worry and fear, and I just uh, evolve myself around love and, and people. Um, I'd be more worried about the people here on Earth you know, that are running the place that are, are putting us. I'm more worried about them than what's up in the air coming at us. There's nothing we can do about it if the comet is coming at us, if we're going to lose our power. The, most, the best thing you could do for you and your family is be prepared for anything from a hurricane to losing your power to an earthquake. Um, to anything, just be prepared. Food, water, shelter, ammunition, guns. What do you guys have? Do you have all that? If you've got that, you've got yourself covered as much as possible. It doesn't hurt to look out there and find uh, the information out, um, like like this right here. If you're interested in this information, I'm gonna go ahead and link it below. The impending demise of Comet C 2012 S1 Ison, and uh, like I said, this was just put out today. And it shows all of this uh, scientific research that goes into the past eight comets that have uh, 
have fizzled out before and how Ison shows that it is moving along that path towards fizzling out. Whether it will make it around the sun, we will soon see, but uh, I pretty much guarantee I will be back here looking at Mars videos, pointing out anomalies next year, well into the new year. Much love, guys. Take it easy. It's What's Up in the Sky 37. I hope you and yours have a wonderful night.